now on the multimedia front one of the big things that um this phone had going for it uh was the web browser which is actually it's pretty fast um i've been doing a lot of comparisons between uh this device and the droid Aeris because they're both you know android they're both on verizon and they're both you know debuted around 99 dollars and i do think that this phone is actually you know faster browsing wise let's go ahead and fire up the browser and then i'll show you uh to me what you know are some of the weaknesses of this you know webkit based web browser and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go to let's hit up hoodhype.com and let's go to the blog and i mean to me it's you know you'll see the speed here this is actually loading up you know plenty fast but the issue I have is that, um, you know, this device has flashlight support, but it's very inconsistent. I mean, there's a lot of websites I go to, and, you know, if you're looking here, you'll see that this is, you know, there's a, a YouTube video, which is actually loading up. But there are, there's been several times where I come to our blog page, and those videos will not display, you know, immediately. And... It's just, you see here, we've got some other flash content that, you know, is supposed to be auto loading. And it's just, it's hit or miss. I mean, it's really, it's not consistent. Um, I can also go over to uh, the infamous tech blog site. That's, you know, my own site. And I've tested it with lots of other phones. And, you know, the Droid Ares has, you know, flashlight support. And when I go to my website, you know, time after time, all the videos load up and render how they're supposed to. Uh, they play immediately. But on this phone, it's just been, you know, very hit or miss. And, you know, just crazy inconsistent. So I'm not sure if that's something that, you know, with time, maybe their first, you know, OTA update for this device, maybe, you know, those issues will be addressed. But you can see here, uh, this was actually my, you know, video unboxing this phone. And you see there, it's just a blank space. There's nothing there. Um, pictures load up fine but if I scroll down there's a couple other videos you know on a page you see there another YouTube video that's just not not being rendered but then if I actually go into the post you know it may or may not show up you just you kind of never know and so it's like you click on a link and you're basically rolling the dice and hoping that you you know come up a winner and you see here once again, there's really nothing there. But then there's been other times where there'll be nothing here. And then if I actually go ahead and click on the placeholder for where the video should be, then you'll see here. It's, you know, it asked me if I want to go, you know, if I want to go ahead and open the video. And now it says video is not available. So you're kind of getting the picture. It's, it's inconsistent. The browsing speeds are great. If they fix those inconsistencies, then it could be living up to, you know, all of the hype, you know, that this browser had. Uh, when it came out another to me another sore spot is no multi-touch you see here I can double tap it does nothing um, pinch to zoom not recognized the only way to zoom in on a web page here is by using the little you know tap icons down here at the bottom to zoom in and zoom out and it's functional but it's definitely you know not convenient I mean nowadays you know, some form of double tap is almost a must. Um, well, not double tap, but some form of multi-touch is a must. So, you know, whether you're gonna pinch the zoom or, you know, use a quick double tap, there should be other ways to zoom in and out on a web page. So I wasn't, you know, crazy about that. Let's go ahead and jump off of the browser real quick and go back and uh, I'll bring up the music player as well. Go ahead and... music is and you see here this is um you know pretty similar to the droids music player uh, I'll play a little bit of static selector for y'all but you see there I have to use the actual you know fast forward and skip controls you can't swipe you know to go between tracks or anything like that so it's real vanilla um you know the speaker phone volume on the phone is decent so 
you know the audio does sound pretty good but there's no options you can't you know tweak the sound there's no bass boost or anything like that so it's just very straightforward very basic and still waiting for Google to really you know address that and you know hopefully bring some extra options to that media player and really just beef it up um, as far as the camera of course it's not gonna really do me any good uh, to take some shots there but in my written review I will have some sample photos uh, the 3 megapixel camera does not have flash and because of that you know that's one of the you know major drawbacks if you're taking you know a picture in any type of low light you're gonna get a real gritty uh, grainy looking photo um, if you're in a good you know a good spot with natural light you can actually get an average at best you know photo and I've got a couple that turned out decent you know in daytime but you know outside of that man if you're indoors or any type of low light uh, the photos really are not that good uh, video recording uh, kind of the same way man it's it's grainy and if you're in a bright spot you know you'll get average you know average video quality um, if you're not you know it's not really gonna be usable so you know multimedia wise man I was really expecting this phone to shine in that regard especially with the browser uh, but you know they you know hopefully some of that can be addressed through updates but you know really just kind of average scores multimedia wise not horrible uh, but definitely definitely could have been a lot stronger so in closing out man I'm gonna go ahead and give this phone a score of a 7 out of 10 uh, I definitely like the keyboard you know the keyboard is easy to use um, you know it's definitely functional you see here you've got the you know a whole full row of you know numbers up here at the top so that's my only knock on the keyboard is that you have to use a function key more than you would on certain phones because they decided to give you a full dedicated, you know, a full dedicated role, you know, for numeric keys. But, you know, all in all, I haven't had any problems, you know, typing out text messages. It's been, you know, nice and easy. Um, it works well. And I think the, you know, the slider is definitely one of the big pluses on this phone. So it's an entry level smartphone for $99, it's definitely doable. Uh, I do think that there's other phones out there that, you know, warrant consideration if you're in that, you know, entry level smartphone market. I mean, you got the Palm Pixie Plus, uh, you got the Droid Eris, which are both, you know, strong contenders for that entry level market. Uh, but a decent device, man, definitely solid quality. Uh, I like the way that, you know, Motorola keeps, you know, building a real rugged, you know man's man phone so that's you know it's cool it's definitely something that i'll check for uh but you know you might want to think twice might want to play around with it uh if you find yourself loving motorola blur then this could very well be the phone for you uh but check out the full written review over on infamous tech blog.com uh, we'll have that posted up and any comments questions you know feel free to get at me major at infamous tech i'll be back at you real soon peace